Hello everyone. It is normal for most of us to use a fridge or refrigerator. So it will be interesting to know how does it work and what is working principle of a refrigerator. So let us start this session on how does refrigerator work. I acknowledge my sincere thanks to the following and courtesy for being used these concepts to make this video session. In this session, you will be able to understand construction and working principle of refrigerator, components of vapor compression refrigeration system and its functions. Let us see construction of the refrigerator. Refrigerator is a device which is used to store foodstuff and liquids at a temperature below than the surrounding temperature. Normally refrigerator inside cabinet is divided into number of sections. Upper section is called as freezer where the Temperature is very low, that is negative temperature. Middle compartment is used to store the beverages and lower compartment is used to store the fruits and vegetable where the temperature range is 7 to 9 degree Celsius. Now the question is that how these temperatures are maintained. So for that here we will take example. Suppose one hot body and one cool body is kept aside then obviously there is a heat transfer take place between these two so heat transfer take place from hot body to cold body after some time temperature of hot body will fall and that of cold body will rise so here in this case there is no mass transfer there is only heat transfer or energy transfer now such kind of phenomena is taking place in the refrigerator for the heat transfer from the refrigerator to the surrounding there is a need of medium so here in the refrigerator this is a section where we use to store very cold products inside this so this is called as u operator so very cold refrigerant from the expansion wall is flowing and passing through these coils. So these coils are called as U operator coils. Now whatever is kept here it will have high temperature so it will lose heat. So this heat will be absorbed by the liquid refrigerant inside the cooling coil and its phase change will take place means it will become vapor now from where this cold refrigerant comes so for that very interesting part that is called as expansion device after the condenser so this device is having coiled structure normally capillary tube diameter is 5 mm and its length is 1.5 meter because of this large length when the hot and high pressure liquid is coming from the condenser and passing through this capillary tube it will be offered by the resistance by the internal surface of the capillary tube hence there will be pressure drop drastically because of that their boiling point of the refrigerant also will be reduced drastically now here because of vapor pressure there will be evaporation of the refrigerant because we know that at a vapor pressure normally liquid starts boiling so as boiling point of the refrigerant is very low then because of low pressure at the 
expansion wall here part of refrigerant liquid refrigerant is getting evaporated now to evaporate this heat is taken from itself from the remaining liquid inside the capillary tube hence this process is a adiabatic process or we call it as throttling process now because of this throttling process here at the end of capillary tube we find very cold refrigerant having negative temperature at low pressure and this cold liquid refrigerant is now passing to the next section that is what evaporator so evaporator is situated at the freezer section so when this low pressure liquid refrigerant is passing through this evaporator coil then by the absorption of heat it is changing its phase means it is becoming vapor now this vapor is going to the compressor now compressor is situated at the back side of the refrigerator at bottom level function of compressor is to increase the pressure of refrigerant so here from the this low pressure vapor from the evaporator when passing through the compressor because of compression it is converted into high pressure vapor and also its temperature is also increasing and it is going above the atmosphere means its thermal energy level is increase thus it is possible to reject heat from this vapor refrigerant for that this is passing to the next device or component that is called as condenser so condenser coils are situated at the back side of the refrigerator now when this high pressure hot vapor is passing through this condenser coil then here temperature drop take place now this in this case during the condensation during the condenser coil journey here that vapor refrigerant is converted into liquid means condensation of this refrigerant take place now this liquid refrigerant is passing to the capillary tube and the cycle is repeated so this process is going on continue so we get here inside the refrigerator at freezer section very low temperature now inside the refrigerator cabin when the air is passing over the freezing unit then it becomes cool this cool air will come down while passing in downward direction it receive energy from the food stub and it becomes warm warm air always goes up so in this way inside this refrigerator natural currents of the air are taking place and because of this here temperature at various section inside the refrigerator is maintaining so here we now understood that how from the food to be cooled that heat is uh, taken by the evaporator and it is transferred by using refrigerant to the surrounding so this is done by the system which is in the refrigerator that is called as refrigeration system now let us have a brief idea about refrigeration system in the refrigerator this system is called as vapor compression refrigeration system now here are the four components already we have discussed first is a compressor is a second is a condenser third is a metering device and fourth is u operator so in this way here inside this refrigerator here above the dotted line the region is high pressure and hot region and below the dotted line the region is low pressure and low temperature region means here heat is absorbed at the u operator section and heat is rejected at the condenser section so in this way working of the refrigerator is taking place so at the end of this session you can now explain construction and working principle of refrigerator components of vapor compression refrigeration system and working of these components 
we will meet in the next video with such kind of concept have a nice time thank you